So is Tirana really that cheap? With the cost of living going up seemingly everywhere in the world and more and more affordable places slowly becoming unaffordable and becoming quite expensive, you might be very well interested in what a month's budget living in Albania really looks like. Well, in this video, I will tell you our exact costs living in Tirana, Albania as digital nomads. Hello everyone, I'm TJ from TJ and B Traveling. We're doing another one of those cost of living type vlogs. I hope you find this useful and informative. Of course, if you do, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. I've got our whole budget listed out here, but firstly, I have to say that we love our two months spent here and we definitely think it is a place that you should consider going to. The people are super friendly, the cost of living is low as you will see, lots to do, lots to see, the food is amazing and there's just lots to do all over the country. It's such a fascinating place. If you haven't already, we have a whole playlist showing all about our time spent here in Albania, our tours, our traveling, our life in this amazing country. Go check that out, I'll put it in the cards above. And finally, before I get into our exact budget, I will mention that these are our exact costs. So they're what beer and I spent uh, on average per month here. And this is based on our choices, our lifestyle. I would consider us somewhere in the middle of budget travelers and like lavish travelers. We don't necessarily splash out on any luxurious expenses or anything like that. But we do have some level of comfort when we travel, so like read into that what you will. Okay, so we categorized our costs as follows. We've got accommodation, transport, groceries, eating out, coffee shops, pharmacy, uh, gym, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. We also did take a few tours that were completely paid for. We've not included those in this budget just because they're a little bit separate from like living expenses as they're what we chose to do to travel on the weekend and I just didn't think it made sense to include them in the budget. Accommodation in Albania is fairly cheap. Tirana's probably one of the most expensive along with Sorande, but even in the high season, which was when we were there, we got a one bedroom apartment, super central, beautiful, and it had everything that we needed. And it cost us $791 per month. We thought that was a really good price and it fitted well for us considering the location, which was perfect. It was right on Skanderbeg Square in the middle of Tirana. We were next to everything that we needed, loads of cafes, grocery stores, vegetable mini markets, our gym, our jujitsu. Uh, everything that we needed and we didn't have to pay too much for transport to get around. We love that place and we would recommend it to anyone that wants to stay in Tirana and actually I'll put the Airbnb link in the description below, maybe even in the comments as well so you can go check it out. Next we have transport and as I mentioned already, we were in such a great location that we could do probably 80 to 90% of all of our things in our day to day life. Uh, by walking. Because of this, we didn't have to hire a car or have regular taxis or even get the bus that often. And even then we, when we did, the bus was like 40 cents. We got the taxis one or twice and a few times we got buses to other locations a bit around the outside of Tirana or on the coasts. But for us in total, for the whole month, it cost us less than $40. It cost us $38.27 for the entire month. Remember us to say that we walked 80 to 90 percent of the time so this is a big reason that our cost is low so you could offset some of that travel cost potentially if you chose to live a little bit further outside in Tirana we decided to live centrally pay a little bit more for accommodation and then much much less for transport okay so groceries if you follow us you know that we train quite a lot so that means that we eat quite a lot this goes into our grocery budget as we eat most of the time at home even though the expenses go up just because of the sheer amount of food that we eat, they also go up because we're looking for specific high protein, vegan and vegetarian options, which were quite hard to find in Tirana, if I'm honest. Fruits and vegetables were extremely cheap all over Albania, so that makes our costs go way down for our grocery budget. With that all being said, our total costs together per month were $448.80. Lots of delicious fresh fruits and vegetables. We would definitely recommend buying fresh products from any of the markets throughout Tirana or throughout the rest of Albania as the food was phenomenal. We really did enjoy eating at home 
and this budget was put very well to use. Now for an average couple in the Western world that might seem kind of normal. That is really cheap for us considering that the amount of food that we eat, the amount of protein options that we eat and, and just how much we do buy at the grocery store. Okay, next we have eating out. We loved eating out in Albania. Uh, it's crazy how affordable a lot of the food is in restaurants. We used to eat out every weekend. We used to have ice cream three times a week at least. We would get budeks, all the traditional vegetarian food. It was very convenient and there were lots of really good options. There was also a really good amount of pizza options available, uh, vegan as well, which we really did enjoy. The whole food scene, in Tirana and all of Albania is absolutely fantastic. It's hard to really describe how they've made everything taste so good, but it does. The amount that we spent per month together was $247.22. Now potentially we could have eaten out even more and then reduced our cost from the groceries, but we we're quite happy with the way we did this. Of course, again, like I said, if you choose to eat out a lot, uh, a lot more, you're still not gonna end up spending too much when you're eating out anywhere in Albania. Okay, keeping it going, next we have cafes. We love coffee shops. We actually really enjoy working out in coffee shops as digital nomads. I know how cliche, and Albania wasn't any different. We used to go a few times a week, and our total cost for the entire month was $211.90. For cents. Albania is actually known for having loads of coffee shops, having a big coffee culture, and sometimes they're good to work at, sometimes they're good just to sit down and people watch with an espresso and a cigarette. We didn't have the cigarette. There are lots of coffee shops that are convenient to work at. There are not a lot of coffee shops that do soy options. There are not a lot of coffee shops that do fancy frappuccino type options, apart from maybe Monomore and Muliris, but that's okay. The coffee culture is great and should be appreciated. Pharmacy, this might not be a thing that you would consider as a big living expense, but it is quite important in your day-to-day -day life, particularly when you've got such amazing hair as beer and you're trying to grow your hair out as I am. So we got hair cream, vitamins, all that little stuff to take care of ourselves. That all comes from the pharmacy and is an important part of day-to-day -day life. Per month, we spent $34.91, which for what we got seems very affordable, but not necessarily outstandingly cheap because of what we got isn't sourced from Albania. Next, we have the gym, which is pretty local and simple, but it had everything that we needed and it really worked out great for us. The people there were also really friendly and for the most part, the gym wasn't really busy ever. In fact, it was never busy when we were there. And we enjoy that because we just get to train, keep to ourselves and not have to wait for any equipment or get disturbed. This gym I'll put in the description below as well. We paid $74.80 for the both of us per month. Albania does have many other gyms. It has cheaper gyms. It has some lavish, more expensive gyms. It's up to you on which you decide that you need. And then finally, in our categories, we have BJJ. We train BJJ everywhere we go. It's an amazing sport, it's an amazing lifestyle. You have an amazing community of people wherever you go. And Albania and Tirana was no exception. The prices can vary a lot depending on which country you're at. It can be very expensive somewhere, it can be very expensive in other places that are actually normally cheap. We paid $149.60 for the both of us uh, per month. That got us access to all of the classes which we could go to every single day. And in general, that's very, very reasonable for a jiu-jitsu, grappling, or any MMA gym. And so when you add all of those categories together, again, not including the tours that we took, our total price per month was $2,098.16 for the both of us to live in Tirana for a month. So what do you think? I don't think you can deny that that is cheap, but is it as cheap as you thought it was gonna be, or did you think it was going to be even less? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you surprised by that? Because for us, Albania has been one of the most affordable countries that we've stayed in and one of our most enjoyable times. Okay, this is gonna seem a little bit weird because it's not in with the rest of the video. For some reason, we forgot to include our entertainment costs, which include cinema, museums, um, what else? Anything else? 
I think that's it. Cinema and museums, walking tour tips, etc. That monthly cost for us was thirty-one dollars and fifty-five cents. I'm not sure if this is going to be added to the end total. We'll probably add it as, as a text, but I don't know how we messed that up. But it's important that we included that in there. Um, we found all of the museums, the cinemas, all of the fun activities, the water park as well, all also fit in line with everything else in Albania. Incredibly affordable, very well priced, very reasonable, very cheap, in fact. For you to have a good time here if you enjoyed this video and found it useful we've created many other costs of living as digital nomads type videos from many different countries i'll put them in the card above and in the description below i'll also re-emphasize the playlist that we have made from our entire time here in albania if you made it all the way to the end and you haven't subscribed to our channel please do that or at least hit the thumbs up button to let us know that you enjoyed this video and let it spread out to all other people in the YouTube universe so that we can inspire more and more people to travel and visit awesome countries like Albania. Let us know any comments you have in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.